So you're looking into increasing your typing speed and you've clicked into this particular video to watch. The best tip I can give you right off the bat is a ton of practice. Yep, that's it. Yeah, but if you're interested to know more about some tips to help you with your practice, do stick around as we'll be discussing about 8 practical tips that have helped me to increase my typing speed from 60 words per minute to 120 words per minute. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. If you have any your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. I've always wanted to increase my typing speed mainly because I type on Google to search for lots of things online, reply to emails for work and for typing a script when making YouTube videos. When you have the ability to type a little faster, you can get more things done quicker. To start, I found a website called 10fastfingers.com to test out my typing speed at the moment of time. And mine is currently sitting at 60 words per minute, which is slightly above average on the words per minute chart. And so I'm determined to increase my typing speed to at least 100 words per minute. Somehow I actually exceeded my goal and went all the way up to 120 words per minute. Here's the breakdown video of how I did it and tips I would recommend you all to try to improve your typing speed. Tip number one is to learn the correct finger placement on the keyboard and to understand the mechanism of typing on the keyboard. Did you know that on your keyboard, there are indents on the key F to indicate where your left index finger is placed and J where your right index finger is placed. Here is the most common finger placement on the keyboard if you're using the QWERTY layout. But from my typing experience, I did not succumb to using my thumb to hit the space bar or rather use my pinky finger other than using it for capital alphabets. Yes, I use my index finger to hit space. Tip number two is to have a comfortable sitting position when typing to yield a better typing experience, especially when you are practicing for a long period of time. Sitting upright, elbows tuck, feet placed on the floor. The internet suggested these custom positions, but what I would suggest is just be as comfortable as you wish. Folding your legs up, lean slightly back into your chair and have a keyboard closer to you or even further away from you. Whichever works best for you, keep in mind that your goal is to provide a very comfortable environment when you are doing your practice to keep you going for some typing sessions. On to tip number three, learning the correct and fastest way to make corrections. Making corrections is almost as important as typing fast and accurate on the keyboard. If you are used to hitting backspace to remove every single character that you have typed wrongly, consider utilizing this command, Control delete to remove the entire word. I've used Control delete when I messed up a lot of alphabets, and if I make mistakes that can be corrected using one to two backspaces, then I won't use Control and delete Of course, if you hit a typo on symbols, this will not delete the whole phrase, but only up until your symbol. So be mindful to practice making corrections as well, because in the long run, you want to be able to type as fast as you can without making any mistakes. But most of the time, when you make a mistake, it's best that you can recover from the mistake as fast as you possibly can and continue pushing forward. Tip number four is to create sessions for this typing practice across your entire day. I set myself a time frame for each session around 10 minutes of typing and five minutes of break. I will have a couple of practices within a day, about 2-4 to four sessions at least. In a month time, I have significantly improved my typing speed. From my experience, it gets more and more frustrating when you're tired as you're chasing to type faster and faster. Remember, this typing practice is not a linear growth, whereby the more you practice, the faster you get, but rather the more frequent you practice in the long run, the more your fingers get used to typing faster, the higher your worst burning score will be, so keep practicing. Tip number 5 is to practice touch typing. If you have not heard of this term, or maybe you are already practicing this method without realizing, touch typing means being able to type sentences without actually looking at your keyboard and memorizing the location of each key. This will greatly increase your typing speed as you are focused on what's the next word to type, formulating sequential key presses rather than glancing back and forth from your monitor to your keyboard. For touch typing exercises, I have used keyboard.com to help with this touch typing practice. Keyboard is also another online typing tool for you to practice typing. It gives you analytics on which key you have the highest accuracy and even words per minute count based on each key. On Keyboard, it auto generates non existing English words, but for this exercise, it just wants you to be familiar with where the keys are. I practiced on Keyboard a couple of times just to practice touch typing, and I still prefer 10 fast fingers because it includes more commonly used words, which you will use on a daily basis as compared to Keyboard. I find it more practical as most of the commonly used words are used in even texting or writing messages. Tip number six is to minimize movement of your hands. 
you will already know why I recommend this. It is mainly to do with keeping your finger placement in the default position as you type. Remember the indent keys on your F and J keys? Always have a habit to go back to your default placement so that you'll be accustomed to hitting the correct key every single time. Tip number 7 is to treat this as a game. Somehow this typing practice will be more relaxing and even fun. Make as much mistakes as you can, uh, most importantly learn from the mistakes. It will become easier if you treat this practice as a game. Have short sessions, for example, playing 10 fast fingers during your break time. But if you're not really into getting personal best records for the fastest typing speed, then practice at your own pace. Yes, here I repeat the best tip I can give you, which is to practice, practice and practice. Practice typing for at least 10 to 20 minutes every day. Give it a week and you will see some results. And on to tip number eight, which is the final tip after you master touch tapping as well as learn to treat this as a game, try doing 10 fast finger practices while having a video being played in the background. You can be listening to the audio or even casually glance at the video content. This in a way trains your subconscious mind to do a task which is typing and at the same time watch a video to learn about something new or catch up with your favourite Netflix series. You can leisurely practice typing and it will help you strengthen your muscle memory as you won't need to glance down at your keyboard at all. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. Hope you guys find these tips useful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Be sure to like this video if you actually enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I'll see you guys very very soon. Stay safe, peace out and bye bye.